coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Sun and Fun 2019 ends on a high note. Lance Air's new two-seat Barracuda is displayed at Sun and Fun. PSA pilot agreement raises the bar for pilot pay. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. The Sun and Fun fly-in closed on a high note, with officials reporting record numbers of attendance. Some highlights of the event included an amazing non-stop flight by the first registered Sling TSI from California to Florida. Piper also introduced two brand new trainers based on the PA-28 series and powered by the IO-370 D3A engine. Be Light showed off their new Chipper SS, a single seat version of the easy to build Chipper Tail Dragger. And AirCam debuted their third generation airplane, complete with more useful load in a third seat. The Blue Angels also drew in large local crowds, but Tom Riley's F-82 twin Mustang, which flew in from Douglas, Georgia, really wowed the crowd. We'll be right back with Around the Patch after these messages. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies, and we stand behind you. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. If you have any story suggestions for this, any of our other programming or website, send an email to news-by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we bring you Around the Patch. Ohio lawmakers have introduced legislation to extend authorization for seven years for the National Aviation Heritage Area. The NAHA is guided by the National Aviation Heritage Alliance, which seeks to sustain the legacy of the Wright brothers as well as to make Dayton the recognized global center of aviation heritage and aviation tourism. This area spans across 54 acres in eight counties in western Ohio. On April 12th, Honor Flight Dallas-Fort Worth will fly 43 veterans, two of which are Centarians, on Southwest Airlines for an overnight stay in Washington, D.C. to visit their war memorials. Honor Flight Dallas-Fort Worth is in its 10th year and provides veterans with an all-expenses-paid trip in order to honor them for their service and sacrifices. Students from the University of Delaware's College of Earth, Ocean, and Environment made a historic discovery when they found fragments of a B-24 bomber off the coast of Bermuda. The bomber is said to have gone down the ocean sometime in February of 1945. Andrea Garcia of Buena Park, California is the winner of the King Schools and NAFI 2019 scholarship. This scholarship consists of $5,000 towards a new CFI rating or certificate, a free lifetime access to all King School courses, including lifetime flight instructor refresher courses. The estimated value of this scholarship is over $18,000. Stick around when we return, Landcare shows off a new two-seat aircraft at this year's Sun and Fun. Build and flying with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B-Models. 
The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at SonicsAircraft.com. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The latest from Lance Air is the new Barracuda, which is described as a two-seat little brother to the four-seat Mako. The aircraft was on display at this year's Sun and Fun, and the design of the Barracuda has been developed from the classic Lance Air legacy. The auto-retracting nose gear adds 10 to 12 knots to the aircraft's cruise speed. The aircraft will feature a wide range of options such as a carbon build, EF2, Starlight mods, and other engines. Other options include Freon air conditioning and full de-icing protection. With the standard 210 HP Lycoming IO390 four-cylinder engine, Barracuda offers a cruise speed of over 200 miles an hour and a fuel consumption of 10 to 12 GPH. Pricing starts at around $175,000 and a builder assist program is available. Raises have been reported for flight crews working for PSA Airlines, which is represented by ALPA. These raises are due to changes in pilot contracts, which will not go into effect until 2023. The new contract calls for up to $12 an hour pay increase for all PSA pilots. First year officers will be making $49.98 an hour, while fourth year first officers will make $55.95 an hour. An $18,000 signing bonus will be paid over two years. Premium pay will also be paid for all hours flown above $75 a month. PSA said these changes came out of a necessity to stay competitive in a rapidly changing regional airline environment. That's our show for today. Don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you would like real-time 24-7 coverage on the latest aviation and aerospace stories, check out aero-news.net. I'll see you right back here tomorrow.